What's up, my savages? Slime Green Beats in the building. This is a FS Studio interface tutorial. So this is mostly for beginners, complete beginners. But uh, you know, tune in if you likes. Uh, I'm gonna talk about the browser, the channel rack, the playlist, the mixer, uh, the key FS Studio interface features. Also the piano roll. I can't remember if I mentioned that. The piano roll. So we'll start with the browser. Now this is the browser here. It, it says browser on it. It's one of the only things that says what it is from here. But you can access the browser by clicking this button right here. And this is kind of just like where you'd put in your uh, drum sounds. And uh, to add a drum pack or like a uh, drum kit, you go to file settings and then you select the drum kit here. So you just like look for where the file is and you just add it here and then it'll appear here. So it's, it's a really cool feature. You can see I have some of mine here already, and those are, are here. Got the loop-de-loops kit. Got all types of things here. Wonderland is here. Um, got a lot of drum kits here. So, um, yeah, like Beat Butcher. You can just drag that in here if you want to use the sound. Uh, that's like a loop. Um, if you want to just put it and throw in a one-shot, you can do that. This is where I get my, like, my kicks. So you could like just throw that in here. Or you could just throw it directly into the channel rack. So I could just throw it into here like that. And I can use it. That's the browser. Any questions? There's a lot of other things here. A lot of other things here. I think the main purpose is uh, you can look at recent files too. I think the main purpose of the browser is to um, throw in drum kit, drum kit sounds. Say that's like the main purpose of the browser. Um, the browser, everyone. All right. Make sure you guys check out the How to Mix Beats book. Brought to you by Slime Green Beats. How to Mix Beats. Brought to you by Slime Green Beats. Be sure to check that out. We have it on Amazon. Um, our website, slimegreenbeats.com. New book brought to you by Slime Green Beats. Let's go to the channel rack. Now, this is the channel rack. All right, this is where you can put in drum patterns and record melodies. Uh, so let's take this out real quick. Drum pattern, you could go like, say, kick, hat, snare, play. All right, there you go, see? There you go. All right. All right. And you'll see like the pattern itself is already in the playlist. Like this is the pattern in the playlist. So we'll get to the playlist. So I'd say the um, channel rack is mainly for like laying down drum sounds. If you do it this way, like uh, placing it in there, you can also just record it. So watch this. I go to the channel rack and this is a cool thing you can do. So you can do this with melodies. So I can record a melody, I could be like, whatever sound this is. Let's start that over now. In fact, let me pick a let me pick a decent melody sound. So you guys can see what I'm talking about here. Alright, so we can make double this. I'm just left clicking and making this bigger, but let's not get too confused here. Let's close the browser. Browser's in the way now. Okay. Um Pattern one, go to pattern two. Make sure, this is how you select the patterns. So this is one pattern, pattern two, right? Okay, so like we can pick a cool metal sound. AKA okay, melody. So we could just record like this. See, all those were bad, dude. Let's try that again. That was a fail. 
go a different pattern. I mean, it sounds weird. This isn't really how you make beats. <laughs> I usually record the melody first and yada yada yada, but that's that's the channel rack. Um, and uh, let's let's mute that. It just sounds kind of weird. Um, that's the channel rack. And again, you can also record drum patterns. Watch this. You could shorter. You could record a drum pattern like this. Just delete all that. You could record a drum pattern like this. First of all, let me get the hi hat here what in the world bro oh this reminds me man save because like i swear every time <laughs> okay uh watch this so you can record straight up in the channel rack so i can go like Channel rec. Anyways, okay, you get the point. And um, you can adjust the volume here of each sound. So I can put like. See, so now you can't even hear the snare. So you can adjust the channel rack. It's a lot of things to do in the channel rack. A lot of things to do in the channel rack, boy. Um, but you can pan too. So pan in like left ear, right ear. So it's like doo -doo <laughs> All right. Uh, what are we doing here? Okay, channel rack. That's that's the rack. That's the rack. This moment is brought to you by Slangery Beats. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you if you're just joining us, we just had we just did the browser. We did the um, channel rack. We're talking about the playlist. This is the playlist. Playlist is a little kind of pretty straightforward. It's kind of where you lay down all your sounds, all your patterns. So you can put all your patterns here. All right, all right. So you can lay down all your patterns. You can move them around. You can copy them. You can left click on them, paste them. You can shorten them. So it only plays part of the pattern. Arrangement. So arrangement in a beat is super important. Playlist arrangement. Yeah. So this is where you can arrange a beat take sounds away while it's playing and this is basically your song right here like this is this is what's this is what's happening right here and whatnot and um that's where that's where they play this piano roll double click you can go in the piano roll this way you can go in the piano roll by clicking this you can also go in the piano roll by clicking on the sound in the channel rack so a lot of ways to enter the piano roll and this is like the actual notes being played so i could be like Um, adjust the notes, adjust the velocity here, velocity of the notes, like how hard the notes hit. <sighs> this beat sounds roughed up. Release, after touch, panning. I think these are like the two important ones, panning and velocity. All right, what, what are we missing here? We did the uh, piano roll, browser, piano roll, Again, you can just like left click, you can drag notes in, out. A lot, there's a lot of features, uh, just covering the basics here. Obviously you can move them to different notes. Like this is like what it looks like on a piano. Like this is like the bass note C5. All right. And uh, what else? The mixer. All right. And this is this is the dooster. Wait, hold up a second. Let me make sure I covered everything. Okay, mixer. Um, so you could drag, you could put a sound into the mixer. So say just like this piano pattern here, I could put this in the mixer. If I bring it to one here, see well here it's just in the master track, which is like the entire track. But if you want it specifically on a unique track, so you can edit the individual sound. 
And then there's a bunch of like, um, see this, whole, this is actually a template, but um, typically, let, let's put this in a new, a new um, mixer slot. So 10, so you can select like mixing effects. There's EQs, like uh, equalizers, like free parametric EQ2 is probably the most popular one. So you can cut out like the high end, like the low end, or you could add like a actual like mixing effect, like reverb is classic. Uh, reverb is like pretty popular mixing effect. There's like distortion, fast distortion. So you just kind of like go through these tools and figure out like which ones you like and where and whatnot. There's a lot to do there. Uh, you can add like how much of how much of an effect you want this to have. So if this is full on like full on distortion, kind of turn it down a little bit. That's like the mixing within the mixing. And uh, you can do the same thing with any of these. And that's the mixer. Like there's a lot to go on again with the mixer. Like you can pan. Um, well, this is like widening it here. So studio, this is separation, so it's panning, but also like separation. So you can make it like wider. So you can make it like wider, more mono, if you will, mono. And uh, that's really it. And there's a lot going on in the mixer as well. But if you want to learn more about mixing, check out the How to Mix Beats book brought to you by Slanger Beats. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more vids. Slime your beats. Take care.